hi everyone. Thank you for being here. Um, this is our Darren Dynamics class with Jaren Lehman. Um, this portion of the class is for advanced brass students. Um, however, if you are not a brass student, please keep tuning in. Um, these topics are definitely um, useful for any musician, and I would say especially for any wind instrument player. Um, as a flute player, it's definitely Jaren's techniques are helpful for all wind instruments. Um, so Jaren's got a wonderful 45 minutes of instruction planned for us. At the end of the lesson, we will have volunteers come on. If you're interested in volunteering, um, send, us, send me a chat and we will pull you on. Make sure you're in an area where your background and um, your video and audio is ready to be shared with the class. Um, with that, Jaren, take it away. All right, hi everyone. My name is Jaron. Some of you might know me as Mr. Layman if you were in my class. Um, today we're going to talk about dynamics and some of the mechanics in our face that we can use and then some exercises and techniques we can use to help improve those. Um, so first I'm going to play a little excerpt for you that Miss Law is going to pop on the screen. This mm -hmm. is from a pretty famous horn solo. Um, and the first section that I'm going to play uh, is going to have some dynamics All right, I think we lost Jaron. Um, his Wi-Fi is in and out. Um, he should be back any minute. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the piece that Jaron is about to play for us so you all can see it. All right, this is a horn piece by Strauss. Um, there he is. I'm back. I'm sorry. My, my, my Wi-Fi is normally great, but it decided for today to stop. <laughs> it's all right. So, You're good. We're going to scroll on down um, a little bit, and we're going to start. Everyone look at that first piano. That's right where I'm going to start. You can look at the dynamics, but I'm not going to play any of them, so it, it doesn't matter anyway. Here we go. So, as you guys can probably see, no matter how beautifully I play that tone-wise, it's like missing a little something. So now I'm going to play it with the, the with the dynamics written. And we're going to see if that elevates it to a uh, to a next level, which hopefully it does. Same. We're going to start at the uh, at the same place. So. Um. That's much more evocative, I think. But the question is, how do we get the kind of range of our dynamics to play both very, very quietly and very, very softly? Uh, the first way is with our air, right? So that's the source of everything that we do with brass and wind playing, but brass playing in particular for this one. Um, and um, by using our, our embouchures in our mouths in certain ways, we can manipulate that air. Uh, the, the two ways that I think of air are this, air speed and air amount, air volume. And air speed, we aren't gonna worry about today because that's for changing pitches, right? So right now we're gonna worry about just air volume. Uh, and by volume, I mean amount 
So think of like a big glass of water being forte versus like a little glass of water being a, being a piano. Or think of um, like forte air being like whole milk or like heavy cream and uh, piano air being like skim milk or fake milk, as some people call it. Um, and uh, we're going to do a couple of breathing exercises together just to uh, kind of warm up our lungs for a little bit of playing in just a second. So the first one that we are going to do is this. Before we do this, actually, I'm going to give you guys a couple of guidelines for how to breathe, for these exercises at least. Um, the first rule is we're going to always breathe through an O shape. O, um, not O, because that has tension. If you say O, and feel right here, everyone can do that. Say O. You can tell that there is um, some tension in your lips, right? And we, and we do not want that. We want to have as much of an O as possible. Very relaxed. So let's, I'll try that just real quick. Breathe in and out through an O like this. With me again, in and out. And in and out. Good. It may help you if you stand for this. I'm going to sit so I keep um, the, the, the shot in line. Um, so now we're going to move on to the second rule. This is called the wind check. Wind check. Everyone take your hands like this, right? Put them straight up and down, right in front of your O. And when you breathe in, you should hear kind of like. World. Looks uh. like Darren cut out for a moment. Um, let's see. All right, while we're waiting for Jaren, um, I can go ahead and show you guys the breathing exercise he's about. Oh, there he is, there you go. Sorry. You're good, you're good. This is, this is as frustrating for me as it is for y'all students. <laughs> so, um, okay, you're good. So here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna breathe in through that O, but we're gonna stop ourselves from breathing with our hand. So everyone take your hand and put the back of your hand right here, right against your mouth. And we're gonna breathe in, and it should sound like a sucking sound almost. It's going to be kind of loud for you, honestly. And the point is to stop air from coming in as much as you can. So it's going to be hard to breathe in, and that's kind of the point. What we're going to do then is right afterwards, we're going to push our hand away with our, with our, with our free hand, and it should make a popping sound just like this. Like that again. Like that. Try that out real quick. So in through, your, in through the back of your hand, we'll call this the pop. Got it again. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use that and then on the suck in, on the pop after you free your hand, get in as much air as you can, and then we're going to let it out pretty gradually, nice and slow. Here we go. We're going to say, let's say four counts out, two counts in, four counts out. Here we go. Ready? Two, three, and out. Two, three, four, in, two, pop, out. Two, three, four, hiss. So now we're going to go in for two, out for four, hiss for four. And the reason we're hissing is because it decreases the amount of air you use, and that will help us go for longer, increasing our abdominal strength. Try that again. In for two on a pop, out for four, hiss for four. Try it. One, two, ready, go, and in, pop. Out, two, three, four, hiss, two, three, four, stop. Try it again, ready, and in, pop. Out, two, three, four, hiss, two, three, four, and stop. Big breath in, side out. Again, big breath in, side out. Right. Some of this breathing is going to get pretty intense. So if you feel like a little bit lightheaded, sit down, take a chill pill. It's going to be all right. Um, all right. The next one we're going to do is called E to O, E to O. So what we're going to do is we're going to break our first rule. 
for the sake of creating a little bit more resistance. We're gonna breathe in through an E, just like this. It's gonna be kind of tense and gross, but try it out. Everyone do that, ready? Again. Yeah. Now we're gonna go out on an E, but gradually shift to O. And this is what it's gonna sound like. I'll do a few a couple of times before I ask you to, to uh, try it. So here we go, in on E. And on E. Everyone try that. Go in on E and then shift gradually to O. Two, ready, go. Breath in, O out. And for that last O out, think about you're trying to toss a paper airplane and the breath you use is gonna be what causes it to float a really long distance. So it has to be gentle enough to float the paper airplane, but also with enough speed to keep it up. We're gonna try it again. E to O to airplane. E O airplane. Here we go. Two, ready, and. In. Follow all the way, all the way to Timbuktu. Awesome. So those are two ones that I think are excellent for working on playing our quiet dynamics because they make us save our air for a really long time, right? And go out over a really long period of time. This next, these next two are gonna be all about playing loud, which is honestly the fun part, right? I love playing, I'm playing loud whenever I can. So the first one is gonna be called in, sip, sip, out, push, push. Everyone say that? Great. So what it's going to sound like is this. And again, I kind of went to an ooh, be careful to not do that. That was my bad on that one. So the point for the in is to get as far full as you think you can, all the way to capacity, and then take two more sips in. So all the way in, sip, sip, out. And when you get all the way out until you think you can't go any further, push out two more times. Like that. So try it out. In, sip, sip, out, push, push with me. Two, ready? And this time I'll say it. Ready? So in all the way, sip, sip, out all the way, push, push, and in, sip, sip, out, push, push. Excellent. Everyone try that one more time. One more time. In, sip, sip, out, push, push. Here we go. Two, ready, go. Good job. All right. I'm going to have one more. And this one I think is going to be the most intense one. So I'm going to reiterate. You start to feel lightheaded or dizzy, sit down. Breathe normally for a bit just to get back in the game. This one we're going to go in for four and then out for four. And I want you to get all the way full and all the way empty in that period of time. So I'm going to use this to show you. This is all the way full. This is all the way empty. Here we go. In for four with me and then out for four with me. One, two, in for four, out for four. So this is in and this is out. Here we go. Two. Again, and four. Use your wind check. Change it to three. Now two, be careful. And stop, big breath in, side out. Big breath in, 
and side out. So that one is really intense and really gets us to push as much air as we have in as little time as possible, which is really going to translate to loud playing. Let's try that one one more time together. We're going to go four, three, two, and then we're going to try some ones. Uh, again, be careful. Use your own self self uh, judgment. And then right after that, we're going to start playing some. Here we go. In for fours, then threes, then twos, then ones. Starting with four. Here we go. One, two, in for four, and go. Now three. Now two. Now one. And stop, big breath in, and big breath. Big breath in, and big breath out. Awesome. So now Ms. Lale is gonna share with you our first, um, our sheet of music for our musical exercises. I'm gonna be playing these on trumpet because I think that they're a little bit more facilitated, but they're totally playable on any instrument. As you can see, I have all four here. You can read along with your lines. Everyone take a look at number one with me, please. This one, we're gonna start this with a way that I will bet that none of y'all have played yet. And that is just like this. I've taken my trumpet right here and I've taken out my main tuning slide right here. It normally goes right here, right? We don't need it for this one. What we're gonna do is just Manipulate that pitch and bend it just a little bit so that we are able to change from C to a B natural. And that's what's, this is what this, this is what that's going to sound. This is what that's going to sound. Sorry. Uh... One more time. Uh... So as you can see, I'm not doing this, right? Which is what you would normally have to do in order to change pitch on a trumpet. And the reason I'm doing that is because we don't need to, right? We're not playing in the part of the instrument that uses bombs. I can do the same thing on my, on my horn right here. Horn starts on a slightly lower pitch right here. And it sounds like this. So I want you all to get your instruments, take out your main tuning slide, and we're gonna play this. Uh, trumpets, horns, and tubas, just take out your main tuning slide. Trombone players, take out your tuning slide and keep your playing slide locked in first position. So don't move this at all, only move your lips. I'm gonna hop back to trumpet real quick. <laughs> all behind me. Uh, 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 uh. So we're going to play this on member no lead pipe all together right here. One, two, one, two, ready, and. Again, one, two, one, two, ready, and go. Um, and the reason we do this is because by taking out this, this section of the horn, we have no resistance. And by playing with no resistance, we really learn how to move our air. So now what we're going to do, everyone take your tuning slides, put them back in, please. Slides back in. And we're going to do the exact same exercise, but with the instrument this time. And I still want you to not use any valves 
or slide position changes. So it's going to sound like this now. So it's a little bit weird sounding. We would never pretty much do that in our real playing in an ensemble, but let's all try that together now. Horns, you're on a slightly different pitch. Let me get that for you guys. Horns are going to be down here. Right, just because we're in a different instrument, so we're on a slightly different range. Trombones and tubas are the same note as trumpet, but down the octaves. So, we're going to try that all together now. There you go. One, two, one. This exercise is one of the first things that I play every single day when I pick up my trumpet or my horn to a, to a practice. And it's a great way to center your tone. It's a great way to work on intonation, but most importantly, and for this session, it's, it's really great for working on our dynamics because it forces us to play in ways that we're not used to. So with that one behind us, we're gonna move on to exercise number two. And this one is, um, it looks as simple as it is. What that little end means at the very end is fancy word for it is niente, but the way that you can think of it is nothing. And what that means is I want you to go until you're all the way, no sound coming out, all the way quiet. So it'll sound like this. We're off on a G now, trumpets. So over the course of 12 beats at about this tempo, Tempo is flexible. You can do it at whatever works best for you. Um, we're going to go from mezzo forte to the piano in the, in the first four beats. And then from piano to as quiet as you can get while still making. And the dynamics loud and soft. The first time you play them, they're not going to be super pretty because our faces aren't used to playing with that kind of like raw power or raw um, quietness. So- Sarah, Can you say that one more time? You were, you cut out for about five seconds. Um, okay. You're talking about um, exercise two. It was just like 10 seconds ago. Gotcha, okay. Um, what I was saying was when we first start playing with our new dynamics, it's not gonna sound great, right? So the first time we do exercise two and go all the way down to the quietest point we have, it's not gonna sound great because we have to sound bad first before we sound good. So we're gonna give it a shot together. Number two, right about here. I want you all to make sure you're still using really good posture with your hands and with your body. I'm gonna do this to help, help us keep time, right? But um, everyone else gets to hold it correctly. Here we go. One, two, one, two, number two, and go. Uh This time I'm just gonna direct, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna play. Number two, one, two, number two, two, ready, and mezzo forte, piano right here. Okay, quietly, as quiet as you can, as quiet as you can. And this time I want you to try to get even quieter. I know a lot of y'all got quiet, but I want y'all to be like, Every single time you uh, do something, your band director says, yes, but do it more or do it less in this case, I guess. Same thing here. Yeah, now this time get even quieter. Here we go. One, two, and one, mezzo forte. Piano, one, two, three, quiet as you can. Down, two, and off. Great, thank you guys. I'm sure that one sounded great. I wish I could hear you all. So those are two ones that are uh, good all around things. The second one, particularly for playing quiet. Now we're gonna look at exercise number three. This is, I think, perhaps the hardest one I have. 
but it's also a lot of fun because we have to play really, really loud. Um, and you're going to get to make sounds that make your neighbors perhaps upset. So of course, be a little bit careful with this one too. Um, so if you scroll down to exercise number three here, um, you can see I'm starting us on trumpets on a low F sharp, trombones on a low E, way out in seventh position, and tubas on a low E also, one, two, three. Horns, I'm starting you on a kind of untraditional note that's a low F sharp, and I want you to play it with one, two, and three. It's not going to sound perfect because a lot of people, are, a lot of horn players aren't used to playing it that way, but I think it's going to make it, it's going to make this exercise work better. So, down it right there, play it one, two, three. And what we're going to do is play that first note as loud as we can, right? At the loudest sound you have, that's not gonna hurt you. So, we're gonna play it on, on a trumpet now. This is what it's gonna sound like, just as an example. Get ready, it's gonna be loud. I'll go do it again just to show you how loud that was. <laughs> And the reason we're doing this is because when we have down all of our valves or trombones and we're in seventh position all the way out, that's the longest our instrument will ever be. We've added the most tubing we can. And because of that, we have more resistance in our playing. And by adding resistance, it's sort of like when you're lifting weights, sometimes you'll do a max rep where you just do like one or two reps of a humongous weight. And that way, when you lift a lighter weight, it's a, it's a, it's a, a little bit easier. This is kind of the same concept, right? We're gonna do the hardest finger combination we have, and then right afterwards, we're gonna do this. We're gonna to switch to uh, trumpets. I'd suggest a G for your first time. Eventually, you're gonna to get to the point where you do that, that C that I have written there. So it's gonna sound like this all together. I have a quick question. Where are you in the PDF? Um, uh, number three, number three. Number three, gotcha, right. awesome, thank you. Yeah, so we're gonna, um, so that first note at, at, at number three, right, that really loud, one, two, three. Then right after that, we're going to play our loudest open. So in this case, a G or a C. So all together, it's going to sound like this. Then we can do the same thing, but go down to a G instead of a C. I'm not sure if my mic peaked or not. Hopefully it did. That'd be a great goal for me to have. But um, the purpose of this is not to sound really, really pretty. The purpose of this is to play the loudest possible note that you can play without hurting yourself so that after practicing that, that loudest no longer becomes your loudest and that volume sounds good. Um, this is one that I stole from a lot of drum corps. If you guys ever watch DCI, it's like a really good marching band that does in the summer. Um, and they're excellent players. Um, but this is a great way to build up volume pretty quickly in your, in your practice. If you do this three times a day, let's say, like that's, that's gonna be a big boost already. So let's try that all, 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 all together. The note for trumpets and trombones and tubas is this. Right, all the way down there up to either or one of those two. And, and for horns, we have right here. And I want you to play that, that C and play it trigger open, trigger open unless you're on a single horn and then play it just open, of course. Uh, but this is, this works best with trigger open for different double horns. So I'm gonna hop back over to trumpet real quick. And we're going to play this one together. Here we go. Loud as you can on, a, on, a, on, a, on a both notes. Hopefully the open one's louder. Here we go. One, two, ready. Great. Great. Now I'm going to do it again. Just me conducting, not me playing. Here we go. So bottom note, all the way down as loud as you can, even if it's a gross sound. That's all right. Here we go. Two. Ready, and four, and wait. Open note. 
Yep, and both notes should be as loud as you can play. Try it again. One, two, ready, low note. Wait, high note. And that is an excellent way to really jumpstart your loud dynamics. Sometimes what we need is to just kind of trick our mouths into, uh, into uh, playing louder than we think we can. Um, that's one approach. The other approach is right here in exercise four. Exercise four. This one is great for building up the entire range from very, very quiet to very, very loud. So I'll play this one for you guys once here, exercise four. This one's a little bit slower. Yeah, so what it is, the first one's pianissimo, then mezzo forte, then forte. Oh, up to triple four tc e c mo oh. right um, okay, sorry, I, I, to interrupt. Uh, sorry sorry to interrupt but um amir is ready to volunteer if you're ready for him absolutely um, he told us he can demonstrate exercise four um if you're ready for that absolutely awesome all right I'm going to keep Hey, that. I'm going to jump in right here. Amir, we're about to bring you on. Jaren, could you run us through exercise four one more time so you can practice it with you one more time? And then, Amir, I'll um, bring you up on screen to do it. All right. So one more time. Uh, trumpets, I think I played a G. You can play a C, too. Uh, I have our C written in back. Either of those are fine. Any finger combination works. Um, number four, we're going to try it again right here. One, two, one. Two pianissimo go. And the way that I incorporate this into my daily warm ups is I do that and I work down to the octave below that. So I'm going to do like a super quick version basically. Then down a half step. Down a half step, down a half step, all the way down to the C below that for trumpets or for horns, and the B flat for our low brass friends. So we have Amir on to uh, try it out for us. You can just do the, the one that I have that I have written, Amir. Did you put your camera on? Uh, yes, I'm here. Uh, okay, so number four. Yep, number four. <laughs> Yeah, so what I would love to hear is for you to get even louder on that on that uh, crescendo. Um, okay, yeah. So, and then the other thing is, make that forte piano. The piano is on beat two. So, pianissimo, mezzo forte, forte, piano, two, four, one, two, as loud as you can get on beat four. Yeah, try that out. Okay, so quiet, then uh, meso forte, then mm -hmm. all right. And then the forte band was da, so like loud and soft, but it's got away. Yeah, that and and. And that's awesome. So what you'll do now in your uh, warm-ups when you practice this, you'll do that and you'll go B flat, then down to an A natural in second position, then down to an A flat in third position, and just work your way back down to the B flat below that. But that was an excellent demonstration. Thank you very much, Amir. It's awesome. Amir. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for playing for us. Yeah, absolutely. It sounded awesome. So these are four exercises that you can play every single day. Um, I play most of these every single day I'm in, in, in uh, my own playing. So let's take a look and go through all of them one more time together, just to kind of keep them, keep them fresh in your mind. 
Number one, let's start out with number one. And I want us to do this number one on the horn this time. So we're gonna have our tuning, our tuning slide in and try to bend that pitch on the instrument, which is a lot harder, but also a very good skill to have. Here we go. So I'll play a few ones on the instrument again. Uh... Number two, here we go, number two. So mezzo forte, down to a piano, down to as quiet as you can possibly get. Down to as quiet as you can possibly get. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Yeah. One more time, one, two, ready. Yeah, and if it fizzles out like that, if you heard how, how mine sounded kind of like gross and crunchy at the end, that's okay. Because all it means is that I was going quieter than my lips could handle for right now, which is why we do this is to make our lips better. Now, number three, one more time. We're just gonna do it once. That, that's twice. Just do it once. There we go. Loud as you can. One, two, ready. Wait. And that's really loud. I'm sure all of my neighbors are really mad right now. But now I'm just super loud. Don't do it too much or else you might hurt something this, like once or twice a day and it'll be good. Number four real quick. Number four real quick all together. One, two, and four, two, ready, go. Just like that. All right, we have some volunteers now, right? We've got Christy Lindsay on trumpet. Um, she wants to demonstrate exercise one for us. All right, exercise one. Are you going to do it um, on the trumpet or off, or, or rather on the trumpet or with no lead pipe? On the trumpet. Perfect, yeah. This is Michael. Christy is his mom. This is Michael on trumpet. Hey, Michael. <laughs> Sorry about that, Michael. Your name is Christy to us, but this is Michael. Which one? Number one. Number one. Did you remember? Make sure you sit with your feet on the floor. Good posture. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I got this web chat in the way. I apologize. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Michael, would you mind trying that again and then pointing your trumpet slightly off screen? So you can look at the screen, but point your trumpet off, off this way. Because when you play right into the mic, it crackles. So go this way a little bit and, and, uh, that, should, and that should help you out. There we go. Was that number one or, or number two, Michael? Yeah, so the, the hardest part about number one is getting that pitch bend to happen. And the way we can do that is by slightly opening and closing the very inside of our mouths. So what it kind of looks like, if like we picture that this is our mouth, right? This is our tongue position. It's like, da, da. Just like that. I'll show it to you. I'll, I'll play it for you again. Hi, hey, Michael, how about we play it together? Here we go. One, two, to get there, two, and rep to go. Yeah, awesome. All right. Awesome job. Was there someone else who wanted to go as well? Ania? 
So yeah, thank you so much, Michael. It sounds thank really Thank you, Michael. Good. Excellent, right. excellent sound. Michael, thank you. Um, yeah, we've got um, someone else, Anaya. Let's see, she's here now. There she is. Hey, Anaya. Hey, Anaya. It's Anaya. 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 Oh, I'm so sorry. Anaya. Anaya. You're okay, you're okay. <laughs> The camera's over here on this computer. That's the monitor. I'm looking at so, this. So, uh, so Anaya, same thing as what I told Michael. Don't point your your trumpet right like this, or else it's gonna it's not gonna come come uh, come through to us. Point it off at like slightly at an at an angle off uh, off of that way. That way we can hear it sound really good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, Yeah, so that pitch bend was really, really good. But here's what I want you to try doing next time. Don't accent the first note so hard. It could have been just the camera, but it sounded like da, da. This is, I think this one works better if we use a really soft tongue. So as opposed to, I didn't mean to crack, but as opposed to that, really thinking, and just having a soft visit of an attack as possible. Why don't you try it again? And this time, slightly softer attack. Uh, 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 yeah, that was that was really good. Uh, Naya, thank you. Awesome job. You're welcome. Yeah, good playing. All right. Um, if there is any other uh, questions or anything, please feel free to ask me. I'd be, I'd be happy to answer them. But those are four really good exercises. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I had, I had someone ask me in the question and answer, what type of trumpet is that? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll tell you real quick. It's a Holton Galaxy. It's a Holton Galaxy from the 1970s that I found at a pawn shop for really cheap. And now play on. It was a steal of a deal. If you ever want one, I would highly suggest one. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, but if there's any other questions, feel free to ask. Um, otherwise, I hope you all enjoyed learning about some cool exercises and breathing techniques to use for your dynamics. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's a super informative. Um, before we end, could we have um, everyone play something together? Real quick. Absolutely. Exercise. So Everyone, let's try number four all together again. Number four okay. all together. Here we go. One, two, and one, two, ready, go. Awesome. <laughs> All um, right. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Thank you to Amir and Michael and Anaya for playing for us. Thank you, Jaron, for this wonderful class. And for everyone who is joining us in this class today, um, we will stay tuned with more classes coming up for the week and in future weeks. Um, we will email everyone a PDF of uh, this ex these exercises that we've worked on in this class um i'll go ahead and stop screen sharing yeah so thank you so much jaren for having everybody and stay Absolutely. tuned for everyone have a great have a great um weekend yeah, no, have a great week <laughs> thanks guys thank you guys